I'm hoping for a lot of deaths here on um Joshua, sorry. Luke's, uh, no 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 no, <laughs> Wait, no, I'm no not playing. <laughs> sorry, Nick. For some for some reason I keep confusing you with Nick in my head. It's oh. it's stupid. Like I'll be right back. Well, let's put up the skills. Oh my god! It's the worst. It's covering the screen because of these fucking dwarfs. Still necessary down. Fucking down black down. boxes. Nice. Hmm. <sighs> By the way, I really want to play the DLC of Dark Souls 3 this, it, as soon as possible, and we might do it this evening. Yeah, sure. So, uh, the idea is that we play uh, with... Uh, but I'm going to play with Josh. When I play with Dan. And you play with Dan. And we are all in the same chat. Yep. All right, Blubble. <clears throat> so, uh, who's kicking? Uh, I guess. Uh, I suppose the dwarves are kicking. Yeah, the dwarves are kicking. They are setting up defense. Right. <laughs> I want to point out that uh, Nick has a dodge on a troll slayer. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's, cool. <laughs> that's a large piece. Yeah, it's like it's pretty good. It's just you're probably never going to use the dodge for dodging. Yeah, that's <laughs> really also true. Nice. I mean, it's a fifty-fifty twice. What fifty-fifty twice? It's seventy-five percent. Yeah, which is all right. Uh, the troll slayer has dodge, but he has only two agility. So, uh, it's not the best, but, uh, it's, uh, it's mainly just, just there because Blodge is really good. Because, uh, trying to punch down a Blodge piece really difficult mm -hmm. if, you don't, if you don't have Tackle or Wrestle. I'm always wrestling. You do have the most Wrestle in the, in the, in the... In the season right now. I'm, I'm, I'm the manliest of the teams. Because wrestling is a man sport, yo. For Belfort Grave, there to be the only skeleton. <laughs> hmm? That I feel bad for Grave, Dirt being the only skeleton. Eh, it's fine. Well, I guess zombies are technically flesh covered some skeletons. Yes. Pretty much. But they're slower. Yeah, all that flesh to waste them down. <laughs> but it gives them more ar gives them more armor. Mummies are lime covered skeletons. Pretty much. Okay, nothing happens. And it's a linen, by the way, not linen. Sorry. Ooh, that was actually a real nice drop there. But he has for Joss, that's for sure. Yeah, can immediately set up a cage. One of the main things that that Josh still has, though, is that his entire team is still, uh, or rather, his his whites and his ghouls are still just AG three, and they have no ball handling skills. It's still average. <laughs> oh, first yeah, yeah, it's, break. it's still average. It's still good. Like it's good enough. It's just that's just the thing. It's good to point out because uh, that means that strip ball is going to be good against them. Uh, overall. Are you trying to hit something? Hmm? Uh, yeah, strip ball would be great. Yeah, this has been a season of a lot of, of a lot of counter skills. I feel because there's so much block. 
<laughs> so much block and dodge. Uh, mm-hmm. I, it's just kind of uh, interesting how how many uh, strip balls, tackles, and wrestles are actually been you know way more incentivized to be to be uh, to be leveled. Over break, over break, over break, over break. Still, yes. And they still haven't been leveled though, that much. I haven't seen mm-hmm. a single strip ball so far. Yeah, but like, there's way more tackle level ups, way more wrestle <laughs> level ups. But what, exa- what exactly does strip ball do? It makes Wait, it so you... the ball carrier drops the ball on the push. Yeah. Uh, even if the if, even if the uh, um, uh, if you get a push or a uh, defender stumbles, uh, uh, like even on, even on dodge and, if, and even if that, and even if the ball carrier doesn't fall over, he still drops the ball. Okay, okay. So he he really could useful. he could have dodge, and you could get a defender stumbles on him, but if you have strip strip ball, then he still drops the ball. That actually makes it a fifty-fifty of him dropping the ball. Yeah, which is really good. No, that no, that's not a fifty-fifty. That becomes a two pushes and one stumble. Full... Yeah, but two oh, yeah, pushes, yeah. one stumble, uh, and yeah. Then, he goes down on the six as well. Yeah, that's yeah, true. six always goes down, so he drops the ball there as well. <laughs> oh, um, he's going with the troll slayer. The sure he's ball going with the is actually. Slayer. The uh, strip ball is really strong, but the the problem is, of course, if they get sure hands, then strip ball doesn't work on it. The counter argument to that is, of course, they have to have sure hands. Yep. But no one has sure hands so far, except maybe some throwers. Only the core, only the like core pieces, pretty much. I like think the, my... the, one, the ones who think... start with it. Don't my uh, my blitzers have uh, sure hands? Nope, they have catch. Yeah. Oh, fair catch. enough. The ones who have sure hands is like, um, of course, the runners and the dwarf team. My thrower, the orc thrower. Um, who's that? Who else? There's someone more. I'm probably forgetting about him. Do Norse get any sure hands? Uh, I don't remember. Oh shit! Brains World Two is the worst. I know the dude had it, but uh, he got fired. <laughs> really? Wait, did the dude have sure hands? Yeah, uh, sure hands so. and safe pass and pass. I think. No, wait. Maybe they don't have sure hands. Maybe you should ask Greg. Wait, what was he playing? High elves. High elves. Who was the dude? The thrower. No, they only have catch and safe throw. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, uh, no, they have um sorry, pass, pass and safe throw. Yeah. Failed the Dauntless. Oh, come on. Foul it. Oh. Foul it. With what? <laughs> I mean, uh, there's one. There's one unit left. <laughs> yeah, but there's a runner who is agi four. You don't want to lose yes, that but, guy. Like, still foul. See, don't want to lose foul. that guy. If if he so gets one, sent two, out, three, then it's just four. oh, I've just it's minus I've four just... on the armor. It would be a six plus. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I would not risk that. <laughs> like the mummies aren't re- like sure. Uh, the mummies to get on a mummy is really good, but I think. Trading a four agi runner for the enemy mummies I when know you're you already have pieces that can deal with the mummies. I don't think that's a good trade. I know. <laughs> you're so so bloodthirsty. <laughs> I know. I think I've just been very irritated lately because I've been. I think Josh has caged up a little too early. I feel like his, mm. like I feel like yeah, he's very pushed into the middle with his. With There's his nothing really to go pieces. through. His team is marked. He can't move basically. 
like the, it's fine that they're marked, but they're just in one place, and I think that's going to get way too easy for the dwarves to um, to uh, respond to. He's not spread out. He is very obviously going in this one direction. So I don't think like that's not a good position for Josh. I mean, he is making a little bit of uh, a room here in the middle. Yeah, he's probably gonna go through that. Yeah. Wouldn't be hard to set up a new cage there. Exactly. That That's probably the best that he can do at the moment. Huh. Surprised he didn't miss the tackle piece. God, it's so difficult to see all the dudes with these Actually, that would have been skills. really bad. He could have just stood up. Yeah, that's what he's doing right now. Yeah, this is what he's going to try and do. He's just going to run through the cage. Wait, he's actually going to cage up there? Oof. It's a dangerous cage. <laughs> or actually, there's a guard next to him as well, so it might be a little bit hard. Yeah, but that mummy and that white also have guard, like both of them. Yeah, that's what I just said. Yeah, he's Peter. He's just making the go for us one by one. <laughs> oh God, he had a two on blast going for it. So, just like. Like a minute ago, I I said that Josh was in a bad position, and apparently uh, the dwarves were so thinly lined. What that, bad position? Uh, what? What bad position? What are you talking about? Well, it wasn't really a bad position. It was more like a kind of a position where you couldn't do much, but apparently the dwarves were so far apart that he could just walk through it. I think this is Nick's biggest weakness, where he, like, uh, puts his dwarves in a huge line. Oh my god. Side step! Hey! Here's a question. Where would he actually go here? Yeah, diagonally up. That's, That's probably same. best. Yeah. Makes it so the troll slayer has a harder time getting around. Yeah. <clears throat> Can't get in, get in with that troll slayer now. He might have to actually use the dodge with kind of Henry. That'd be kind of. I mean. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it's a seventy-five. Wouldn't you rather uh, punch the mummy and free up the dwarves, though? Where can they go afterwards? One, two, three, four. Can't get nowhere near. Not that far, I know, but it's like one, two, three, four, five. He could actually go and mark that goal. Yeah, I just think this is gonna be a very quick goal right here for Josh. Oof! The dauntless fail. He'll still get a one die. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he rolled it. Hey, he's desperate to get the mummy down. Face. Well, well, Josh can score now if he wants to. Pretty much. Yep. It's not even that hard. And he'll nope. level up a Google from it as well. Uh, actually, he could also stall. I mean, the easies right now. Not really easy, but like, it's like. Relatively, yeah, if you put it exactly on the line above the 22, 
He can stall. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but like he should. I think he could just hand off to um, five audios a day and just freaking go and score. No, yeah, I I think he should hand off and then. No, because like. If it... If he gives it to five bars a day, he's still going for it to go to the touchdown line. So delaying is the best option right now. I don't. I'm not sure if I agree with the delay. I know delay is a thing you want to be doing, but it's like in a certain situation, Aww. I feel like delaying is a very uh, dangerous thing to do. That position there is like way better than than the one I thought of though, so it's looking a little bit better. Well, this is a very Nick game so far. Except people don't usually score that quickly against him. Hmm? Killed one dice the ball carrier. <clears throat> oh wait, no, it's a string four piece. <laughs> uh, that's yep. one die. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I don't. It is one of those ghouls. Yeah, I think he just gave up. I think it's a mistake because then Josh can use the delay. Well, I think he should definitely press the issue because if he delays, like, what is that, five turns? That's huge for the dwarves. I think. Nick will try to put pressure on uh, his other players, just beating them up to force Maybe. Josh to score to save them. <sighs> Damn. He's getting a low amount of armor breaks though. pressure. I think Josh would probably want to give the dwarves as little time as possible for the dwarf to score. Because this is his drive, so if he scores quick and the dwarf manages to score again, and then it's the dwarf's drive. It's potential 2-1, the dwarves. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so you can still aim. Kinda hope he gets punished for it. He might. It was useful. Also, Yoshi is a player down right now. Technically, two this round, but the full like yeah, he has the, the replacement. I know he has one replacement, but he has two, so it's down one. <clears throat> Ugh, so much guard. Well, that's what Nick wants. Yeah, that's down too. I mean, I guess he would rather want the injuries, but. Of course he does. The chaos. Are a delayed region, but it's without SPP and um, a, an injury means like that at every drive, like yeah, all right. he needs to do is fail one of the uh, 50 50s and then he's not in the game at all. While as the KO. If he fails the 50 50, it might come back another turn. Uh, drive, sorry. I don't know. Of course, he's fine with the KOs, but it's like. Of it's course, the player, trees but... are better. It's getting a lot of stuns. That would have been a KO without Thick Skull. Yeah. I'm surprised he's done it that way, because if he'd pushed with Wedding White, he could have uh, moved Reggie up to threaten the ball carrier. But he doesn't care about the ball carrier. <laughs> Didn't you see the last turn? Oh, that's Oof. important. That's that's more like it. Good. You know, we had the answer answered by what happens if the injury box is full. But what happens if the KO box is full? Does the injury box become that's a, a good... replacement uh, KO box? That's a good question. I don't know if the KO box has ever been full, because they usually, like... Wake up. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised he leveled up with that guy. Because he didn't pass it, right? No, no. Wow, he got most of them back. Ugh. Well, well. That's a good roll. Yeah, so it's uh, back to even teams.
six, five, six in the KO calls. And a one, of course. Four turns to score. Ah, uh, those fucking mummies just won't stay out. They always come back. actually kind of scary. You'd think they wouldn't reach anything, but they actually reach pretty good. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Uh, you'd think that mummies on the wing would be pretty bad, but they actually reach pretty good from the where they stand. I mean, there's still movement 3, which is pretty... I mean, they still reach the middle, so that's the... Like, the reason why they're there is because... This way, the mummies pretty much cover the, most of the pitch, you know? Like, they can walk. Yeah, they, they actually covers everything except for the, the exact middle. middle. Yeah, but they could go and even for there, they that. can still reach with a go for it. So, like, that's the whole point of the mummies, because, uh, because they are so slow, you want them to be able to respond to it. And uh, if the uh, response to stuff. Um, so they need to be in a good position. Now, of course, if they go one. Uh, if, like, if the enemy goes one flank, then both the mummies won't be there, but at least one will. Yep. And that's usually enough because mummies are pretty ridiculous. It's a big guy, basically. Yeah, speaking of sure hands, a... there's a player with sure hands. Yeah, he <laughs> actually used the pick. He has the used the as well. So here starts the, the onslaught of the dwarves, which uh, they only have four turns to actually make a goal. I mean, they can theoretically two turn. They are fast Te enough with the runners. Uh, so, technically, but you just have to be real brave about it. <laughs> That's true. He does have an agi agi runner, like agi plus runner, which is pretty pretty good, because I think he'll need to do some dodge plays basically. Oh, I don't and, uh... that. No, that's what he's doing. He's gonna use the dauntless piece on it, I think. I know, but. If I was That's very blitz, risky. If I was gonna blitz any side, we'd blitz each other. Yeah, also because that, that side does not have a guard piece mummy and a string for goal. Yeah, I would I would be inclined to agree. That's very risky. And oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't oh agree god. on that. Well, if he didn't roll the Dauntless, then I would not have re-rolled the Red Tie. Like, if he wanted to re-roll anything about that block, then it was, it was the Dauntless. <laughs> I mean, if it would have succeeded, it would have been a one die, and we all knew it would have been double ones. Uh, or one. No, if it succeeded the Dauntless, he would have got two dice. Yeah, that's what Dauntless does. Oh yeah, it gives yeah, 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 yeah. Dauntless yeah. brings yeah. you to a one die, but because he has one assist, it comes to two die. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Brings you to equal strength. Yeah, this is really tough for the dwarves. They have to make 
I'll have to do just cover a lot of ground with with no time. Yeah, he definitely should have tackled on the other side because then there's only a zombie to knock out the way rather than a blood strength four ghoul. This is just disastrous. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, like all all also, needs He shouldn't to be have targeted the mummies. Mummies can be mummies. Yeah, th those are the hardest to, play, to punch over. Yeah, it should have tried to take out the skeleton. Yeah. Um. Basically, all Josh needs to do. Blitzing the ball carrier, yes, is, he is. Uh, yeah, that, <laughs> oh Shit. my god, yeah, that's really smart. Oh, can't pick up the He ball. can't get to it, but he is delaying the dwarves even more, which is all Josh wants to do. Yeah, and there's a strike four piece as well, so it's hard to get rid of. Strength for Blodge. Ugh, if he had side stuff, Yeah, that's, that would that's be exactly worst. why I want to have tackle wrestle and strip ball and all, all the counter counter skills. Because uh, stuff like that is what I'm really truly, truly uh, afraid of. So much Blodge in this league, it's unreal. Yeah, it's, it's more than uh, more than we've ever had. I'm afraid of your team as well. Of uh, whose team? You. I mean, I do have two blanches, but I mean, in general, it. you're you are very uh, well based right now, and I I'm still lacking, and I'm your next opponent as well. Yeah. I feel like our curse is gonna get broken, and it makes me sad. I don't know about that. We've. Uh... We've kept up the curse quite, quite well. So I don't know about that. I mean, it's only, it's only five. He only has a one die against that goal if he stands up with one of them. Okay, this is probably his only chance to go down the middle right now. But even that won't work. What do you do? I take the one die against Brains World 2. Yep. That's what happened. That's what I was, uh, yeah. yeah. And then uh, Blitz the Ghoul with uh, Squeaky Steven. Squeaky Steven. Nope, wait, he is what? bringing wait, it back to wait. punch him. That's the that's tackle piece. You should have blitzed with him. Fuck. But that would have been a go for. <sighs> yeah. Uh, gotta but... gotta use that tackle, man. Ah uh, no. Yeah, he no, he, he, shit. he's not gonna be able to score now because he uh, that agp's needed to to get on that ball. Yeah, and also he. He's gonna he, try he and pick it up the, the other one. Wrong way. Technically. Which is fine, I guess. One, two. He can go back there. He has made two squares of progress. Wait, no. Uh, since last turn, he has last made. Last turn, uh... he stood on this square as well. Ah, oh, it's true. He has made no progress then. <laughs> This is disastrous. Yeah. I think the best that the dwarves can do is try and get some dwarf into scoring position and then hope. <laughs> and then hope for a miracle. The only way Cause... that could happen right now is if he dodged out with his uh, troll slayer. <laughs> I went for it. That's a fifty-fifty. I don't. I wouldn't say that's a very good. I mean, you see, if he'd uh, if he dodged out on the other side, the troll slayer has bludge. Yeah, but he has only yeah. stood up. Yeah, but I mean, like if that guy had like stood up and dodged out and run down the pitch. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Nice. 
Oh. Failed. Oh. That's, that's huge. That's, that's really good for Nick. I think, you know what? I think he should... Yeah, damn it, he's gonna... Well, he has two more turns. D yeah, but he barely has the movement to get across. I know! I mean, in two turns, Nifter could get there. Oh! Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> Please die. Oh. Oh. That's... That amazing. The See, that was a really good turn in terms of like punching, but I he is yeah, no just the problem is Josh can also also just run around and blitz the ball. Yeah, carrier, that yeah. duel has enough movement. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a go for it, but he can just go around and punch him. In fact, he could actually um. Do it without a go for it. If he yeah, brings that's, in that's... Uh, a go. Oh, yeah, if he breaks in another go. Because one of them don't have guard, basically. <laughs> I reckon this is going to be a 1 1 draw. I'd think it'd be amazing if the dwarves won. <laughs> I mean, it yeah. would be. I just don't think they will. I uh, I don't think dwarves will. Uh, the dwarves will score twice in uh, ten turns. In ten, yeah. It just sounds like it sounds dumb because it's ten turns, but that's just how dwarves work. Josh is I... really struggling here. I th I think that uh, if Nick is to win this, he needs to get a lot of uh, good injuries and KOs. He's already on one. He really is. Good. I mean, yeah, he's got one, which is really good, but it's too yeah. late for uh, this he's, drive. He's also only down to three folder pieces. He shouldn't have done that. That's not going to do anything. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Oh, he's... Oh. But then he could just hand off to the g 4 guy, and nothing happened. <laughs> well, now something happened. <laughs> <laughs> he can still he can still hand off. He can still hand off. Yeah, but it's harder. I think what he needs to do right now is um... blitz, blitz with kind Eri, Get him as far up the pitch as you can. After hitting set not psychopath, hand not, off to no, 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 the no, no, IG4 piece, move as far as you can and throw it. I wouldn't say kind Henry, I would say the blitzer, Punsy the Nose, who's like behind him, because he is at least. No, he actually has just as much movement. I thought blitzers had six, and they have just five. Uh, maybe the Troll Slayer is actually the best bet. The Troll Slayer is. Probably okay. It's the the main thing is the the agi two. Yeah, but if you're blitzing with him, and then it's a fifty fifty catch, and that's the best chance you're gonna get. Yeah, but he is frenzy. Yeah, but he's frenzy with block and dauntless, so he probably. I mean, it's not great, but it's probably I'd the best rather, shot he's got. I think I'd rather um. Uh, one two three four. I think I would rather. Why, push Nick? Why? Why with the ball carrier? Yeah, he just, he just, he can't score. Well, he, uh, he could. He, he can, but it's gonna be. Technically, he can, but he's just made it even worse for himself. Yeah, this is probably a one-one now. <laughs> yeah, it's l probably, but. Uh, yeah. Or a two-one to Josh. Ooh. Well, he made the second Dauntless. <laughs> yeah, so... We talked about this before, and it's basically... 
Nick is the kind of player that would rather punch the enemy team uh, than to look for scoring opportunities that are really like pinpoint and stuff like that. Which is fine, he's playing dwarves, it's not really what they're supposed to do. But it sort of pains sometimes to look at a situation where they could theoretically uh, score pretty easily as well. Not, e not even that, e not even like if it's easy or not, it's just the possibility is there, so you might as well go for it. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna say 50-50s are that reliable. Mostly because I got really fucked by 50-50s in my game this week. Josh could actually score here. Josh could score, yeah. Uh, wasn't for the rain, it could have been 3-2 to me. That's really sad. Uh. Oh yeah, Josh can score, All right. Josh can totally score. <clears throat> and now we can bring in Grave Dirt to make more marks. Could bring in a ghoul as well. Mm, that fuck movement mm. really makes a difference. It does, doesn't it? Now we should bring in that ghoul at the bottom, bottom right of that runner, and then punch with the family phantasm. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm surprised he did that rather than just taking the push. Uh, he could still with blitz with Sleepy Horror. Oh, that's actually true. You're yeah, actually, actually, no, you're actually he can't score the other way. The ball goes <laughs> too far. Yeah, what he should have done was pushed him diagonally back, and then yeah. he would still get a two dice with Sleepy Horror, and he could blitz that's actually and true. towards the line. Yeah, I, yeah, he, 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 he could have actually done that. That's... That might have I mean, he, he took the reroll, so after the reroll. Yeah, but uh, what 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 man is basically suggesting is that, uh, uh, yeah, is that, that he could have just pushed have him forward. Yeah. He would have blitzed, got a two die, and then if that failed, he could have just rerolled that instead. Yeah, that would have probably so been it, better. It was, a, but... it was kind of a fuck up, and I. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Yeah, it's like it's one of those fuck ups, though, that it's like it's. At the time when you do the reroll, it seems reasonable, but then afterwards you're just like, ah, damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's a tunnel vision. Yeah, pretty much. I I'm think trying to work out if there's any way <laughs> he can make a push. So if he pushes him there. Uh, not gonna happen. Uh... <sighs> Oof. This is all good for Nick. He's, so if he he's... pushes Severed Psychopath along one by blitzing with Nifta. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. And then he mo if he moved up Lord Charles. I mean, he pr should probably just. No. Whoa! He ran through a tackle zone That's without. Crazy. It's the last turn, might as well use the reroll. I think it was more a case if he didn't realize it was a tackle zone. Yeah, sure. but right now. Yeah, he didn't realize. Oh! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> no! oh, shit. Nick! Wow. Uh, he's probably gonna re get replaced. Nick! Nick! You killed, you killed one of your dwarves! Uh, how many guys are up? That's uh, two, two guys them. up. Uh, who was that? So that's the white up. That's pretty important. So it's a nine against ten right now, I guess. Yeah, four to five, nine, six, nine against seven. Eight, I just nine. counted. Yep. 
Yeah, Nick is a very like aggressive player when, when it comes to just beating the crap out of you. So you have to be like very, <laughs> very cautious Ooh. against Nick because. So what he... I think Josh is doing here is he he's inviting uh, Nick to score. So that he can get the two one. I don't think he wants to do that. that oh well, dumb. now he's setting up another way. No, I, th I think like I don't think he wants him to score. I just think because Josh usually does this kind of formation where he lets people go into his flank and then he just like if they go into his flank, he just uh, he just pincers them that way and pushes them out of the pitch. Yeah, but this position he's in is really easy pincerable by himself. If you know what you're doing, you can screen off everything. Totally, but that's usually what he's fine with because the ghouls can very, very easily go around stuff. Like that. This oh, is yeah, how Josh. Yeah, he's this up is how Josh plays. Yeah, the dwarves can't efficiently deal with this. Setup. That's what I mean. Like, uh, like against elves, this would pr not. Yeah, be this would have been a really fatal. That's a two turn yeah, setup. Yeah, because then the elves would gain so much ground. He would have so many uh, scoring threats that it would be like, well, we just let them through. But with dwarves, it's like you might as well if you let them go past. Yeah. Also, like, he what, didn't. What set are they up gonna do? <laughs> right to deal with it. The, the options are so 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 much fewer for the dwarves, basically. Yep. It's gonna need to advance. Shield wall style. Oh god, I got, just got a really bad idea for a team. <laughs> what? Uh, basically, they're like Spartans, and they all have shields. Everyone in the... in the Everyone Ooh. starts with guard. <laughs> so you oh stand next god. to each other, <laughs> like a shield wall. <laughs> That'd be... That's kind of cool. Yeah. Although... They That's, would have it, to have armor seven, probably. They would have to have some sort of like bad stat in some way because that just sounds like to have guard on on like like are you thinking like guard on linemen? Yeah, because that would be ridiculous. <laughs> so they would have to have some sort of trade off, basically. Yeah. So, either slow, mo either like slow movement or like worse agility or yeah, the thing worse is, armor. It would either be that they are light armored, uh, but have low agility because the shield is big, <laughs> or they're heavy armored and can't move. I mean, that would be kind of cool. Or maybe they only have. Hmm. Maybe or they only have guard when they're standing next to each other. <laughs> All right, skill. now we're over. Now we're overthinking it. <laughs> it's fun though. Oh, oh, maybe they need two both hands to carry the shield, so they have no hands. The linemen, <laughs> linemen have no hands. <laughs> oh, uh, he's passing with that guy, so he's. Uh... Running up with a runner. And he's... Problem here is that the yeah, ghouls yeah, the can ghoul, very easily ghouls. get around that. Yeah, and the ghouls can also just set up a screen. He needs to put Biffo, the Shin, on marking duty. And he did. But that's not enough. No. But it's something. More dice. It's It's good enough. I think this is a decent position for Nick. This is this is this is like one of the fastest approach you will see as, as like <laughs> with a dwarf team. Yeah, uh, I actually don't agree no. that he should play this fast though. No, he, yeah, he wants. Yeah, he should he play he wants, on this side. He wants to win. Uh, he can. He get, like I, realistically, he is going to. Uh, um, well. 
realistically, well, apparently he, he literally can't score this turn, but uh, it, next one after that, uh, then, um, then he can. And it's looking pretty possible. Yeah, but I think if he scores, Yoshi's just going to score back, and then Nick won't be able to score back. You should play for the draw, well, right? Maybe, now. maybe Nick, maybe Nick is hungry for the win, though. Yeah, but I think that hunger will uh, lose him the game. That's that might be true. I mean, I, I, the only thing that would stop that prediction is if uh, Josh starts rolling really fucking bad. <laughs> That's a, that's a start right there. Fortunately yeah. for Josh, that piece doesn't have tackle, so he can't actually dodge out the free ball. <clears throat> I think Josh is uh, kind of confused as to what to do right now. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that, that that's what I was thinking of. He just get the mummy in there. It's pretty reasonable. Yeah, but he's gonna be he's gonna get down pretty easy. Yes, kill, kill the. He's ghost. going in. I would just immediately punch with Putsy. Yeah. You know I wouldn't. I would punch with uh, Nifter because he has dodge. But Nifter's the guard piece, annoyingly. <clears throat> that was a good push. That means the goal is free next turn. Well, that was a good start. That's pretty good. Whew. I mean, if you punch with Nifta, you are getting enough assists. Yeah, double guard. He shouldn't follow, though. Nah, I shouldn't. Oh, he's followed. <sighs> should have left him there, and then he should have blitzed. Well, I guess bodies. he can mark him with Nifter. That's the tackle piece on him. That's true. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can't get around the goal, goal with the runner. Well, not anymore. But is he going to? He's going for it. No, uh, yeah, now that he put Dave there. Yeah. Man, this is such a Nick, Nick game. It's just a line, just a line of dudes. No spread out people, just people punching. The dwarf wall. The dwarf wall. Yeah, he should stand up if I... Come on. <clears throat> Have you used his blitz? No. Uh, I would blitz brains well. Or not. Huh. That paid off. Don't follow. Nice. I would I would actually take the going for it and back off one. Uh, and back because up. then unless he goes right to the pitch edge for the tackle. Yeah, uh, if definitely back back one, no. Can't do that anymore. Mostly because then you get covered by the guard piece much better. Yeah. 
I mean, he is in the range of the strength or ghoul right now. Yeah. <clears throat> but he would have been out it or outside it. One down. And that would have been a one die. Because of the guard. It's two go for it. Mm. Actually, I probably could have positioned five bodies a day to get a plus one. But I would have leave him surfable. <laughs> I mean, that's a goal that uh, is going to have to make a a, a three plus dodge without dodge. Oh yeah, that's true. Because there's a tackle piece next to him. Yeah, he's just going to go for it. Yeah. It's a two die. Oh! What a jammy fucker. It's not that unlikely. No, I... It's a two uh, dice. No, it's not that unlikely. Well. It's just, it's just you know, it's Josh and go for it. I would have yeah. put that guy on the line so the ball could potentially have fallen out and get swung I... somewhere where he could have. Uh, I mean, technically, that I, I I think that's, yeah. I mean, you say that, but like, apart from that one white, like every one of your pieces that's going to pick up the ball is tied up. Yeah, but he could have also delayed the dwarves. In the best case scenario. Come on, pick up punch the ball. that punch that dwarf out and then get the white over. No, pick up the ball and then hand off to the strength four piece. No. Do it. No. Do it. Do it. Do it. No. I mean, it's a 50-50. Come on. Yeah, but if he drops it, it might just end up in the top right there, where there's like billion dwarves. Or it wow, could I'm drop surprised he didn't... into a sleep horror. Wait, I'm surprised he didn't <clears throat> punch with the... Oh, that's a one die. It's true. Joy. I just meant on the right, there was a zombie in the white, and I thought, like, he was gonna punch with the zombie and free the white up, but that's actually just a one die. If he takes a going for it, he can punch from below the ball, or, like, double diagonally below. Ah, oh, he's not gonna. If he'd, if he'd punched from there, he could surf the ball and maybe get it out of all the tackle zones. Assuming the dude fell over. And he was doing it with, you know, a tackle piece, so it might have. Ooh. If only he'd done it with a tackle piece. Yeah, people really have to start using the counter ability skills to counter. Yeah, that period. That's the end of that sentence. Because uh, I, I. Yeah, blood is disgusting. Like Corby, Corby has like a butt ton of wrestle, and he has not been using wrestle against block pieces at all. Um, and I've like. It's just so few, so few positions where, 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 where like, you've actually used the counter or things. I guess not everyone has that many, but I just want to see more of it. Wow. Wow. That's pretty bad. I mean, it's still pretty safe. <sighs> yeah. I think uh, that... Like, uh, if Josh can surf this free and just leg it with a ghoul, that's game. <laughs> Uh, I think... Oh yeah, he can surf it, shit. What? I mean, he might not, because Josh has a pathological fear of doing that, whereas I believe in the surf. <laughs> I mean, even even if someone holds the ball afterwards, she can just blitz the one that holds the ball. Just 
punch with Severed Psychopath onto the ball. Because if a dwarf gets it, you still have a tackle and a blitz to get it out of his hands. <laughs> yeah, and if the dwarf falls down, it goes upwards. So that's a uh, 3 and 5. No, uh, 3 and 8. Then the ball is fucking free. Just unfortunate for Nicky failed that re-rolled three plus to pick it up. Yeah, that was pretty pretty bad. Josh has been so lucky this season though. Like so many <laughs> times he like things could have gone badly so he just had the perfect dice. He's doing it. Yes! Oh! Nailed it! Oh! Oh, the jammy pass. That was probably the worst position he could have gotten in. So that was a 1 in 8. I like how that came immediately after you said Josh has been so lucky this season. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> what a mess. This is where it bounces out and ends up like on Dave somehow. It just runs it in. <laughs> I mean, he's... I would score with Dave in this position. I so would score is... with literally anyone I could score. This is pretty bad right now. Uh, maybe he should just go for the one die. He's probably going. That is exactly what he wants. Wow, I'm surprised he put him. I'm surprised he put him next to. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, oh, that was go for the one die? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Believes in the one dies, apparently. Oh, oh, I would have not stand firm there, shit. Yeah, actually, I don't know. <laughs> would I? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Brains work. That's the second. Oh, like he failed as well. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is such a neck game. Game's dumb. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's all about, man. This fucking game, man. Okay, so. Ah. Uh, that was a mistake. Jesus, this is such a Yeah, difficult... he should have stood up the guard piece and then blitzed with left-handed Errol. I would have blitzed with kind Andre. No, wait. That wouldn't work. I was thinking of Shane pushing left-handed Errol's body onto the ball. And then pick it up. Doesn't matter! Way. Fail the door, that's funny. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> oh. That goal needs to die. Yeah, that goal needs to die. I think uh, when I meet Josh, I'll probably foul the shit out of that guy. But he's probably expecting it, so it's fine that uh, I can say it right here. Hopefully, he's expecting yeah, dirty it. player on the Gobron the Dark Lord. The problem here right. is like, Whoa, Nick has so many want. positionals that he has basically no tackle left on the team. I do want Dirty Player on, on my Goblin, that's for sure. Smack. Oh. Such a brutal game. He Smack failed. Wow. My it's god. <laughs> That success rate on regen, man. <laughs> uh, I think it's a 50-50 for Pudsey to dodge into I just want to point zone. out that... It is, he's got dodge. Yeah, he's dodge. So and a team a like, I would gen I would, in fact, I would Blitz do it. I just want to point out that uh, yeah. everything in Josh's team is out except his, his, uh, his ghouls, whites, a mummy, and one zombie. Do it. Believe, Biffo. Believe. 
No, uh, he can't do it. Because if the buff falls away from all the tackle zones... Yeah, that would be terrible. Yeah, then he can just pick it up. Oh! Hand it over to the wedding Oh, he has previous. no more rerolls! Mm. Oh! Oh my oh, god! Big. All the armor breaks. My god. Man, the doors just... They have taken one injury, but the funny, the funniest part about that injury is that it wasn't even inflicted by Josh. Like, Jesus Christ. It's so few players. Then again, the only thing Josh needs is to pick up the ball and run away. Like, if he gets the breakaway, he is... he's golden, but... Four tackle zones on the ball, he can clear three of them if he's good, unless he yeah. serves. But the serve has a very good chance of leaving it on a dwarf. Mm. But would you take that chance just for them to fail the catches so it, like, goes over to somewhere else? Like, would you take that chance? I might... I would probably... I would consider, <laughs> consider it. I would serve with Fangly Phantasm. I don't mind. He's gonna do it with that guy instead. Oh, he's doing it this way. That's the, Ooh, wow, that's, that's the dumbest way to do it. That paid off. Well, it paid off. That paid off so much. If you dodge out with five bodies he's, today, he's gonna have to... hand off to the wedding, the, the deer hunter, and just leg set. <sighs> Thing is, deer hunter can't get out of the tackle range for Vinny. <laughs> I know, but it's nothing. <laughs> he, yeah, he just wants to use the deer hunter for some. Yeah. Uh, there's the tackle. He gets out. He fails to pick it up. <laughs> That's pretty bad. It's an agility four piece now, right next to it. He can only remove one tackle zone though. No, he can remove both. Uh... If he puts someone on the space to the left of the ball and then blitzes deer horn to into them, he can choose to knock the goal back. Yeah, but then the Deer Hunter also has to fall down. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, so, yeah, this is assuming that Deer Hunter falls down. Yeah, but he can do it. It is a possibility. I just hope that he sees it. Or if he does it with, yeah, there's a guard piece in there, isn't there? Yeah, so he could do it with one of the uh, frenzy pieces, if he's brave. And this is Nick, he's definitely mm -hmm. brave. Yeah, he's probably saving for it. The setup is going to be only us two. Let's with not so kind Fred. That's not going to work. Oh, wait. I, I looked at it in the wrong way. Oh my god, it worked. Oh. I looked at, I looked at it in the wrong way. Nice. That totally works. Oh my god, that's a negative. Come on, region failed. And the yes. region failed. Yes. Seriously, this oh, is ridiculous. Josh, Josh is in pain right now. Yes. Not gonna lie, I'm glad to have him, have him get taken down a notch. Even though he has had very brutal games before, I just feel like it's nice to have the one who is like undefeated to have have some smacking done. Now just go like diagonally. Wait, no. Yeah, yeah, I would go diagonally. Diagonally down, right. And then I would foul Sleepy Horror. Interesting. Wait, is he fouling with the ball carrier? No, he's standing up. No, he's him. passing that guy apparently. Oh, he's he wants to score this turn. Oh, he does. That would be pretty but good. But that's. But that's bad. No, it's good. Why? There's just six players. He can potentially get eight. Actually, eight is pretty good. No, it's it's pretty bad. Don't don't score this turn. Go for the. That's draw. what I meant. Go, go for the draw. Like I mean, if if he scores now, then Josh still has all of his goals and could just try and score. Go in for it. Pass the GFI. Pass the GFI. Really? That was terrifying because he had no rerolls. He had no rerolls. <laughs> I was like, oh. this is where he falls over, and then a ghoul just snipes it. 
Oh, oh my wow, we got God. one of the KOs back. This, this game, this game is so enjoyable. Okay, so <laughs> Yoshi has 7 nah, players gone. against 10. So much for regen, man. Man, Josh is gonna be 50, Look 50 my ass! Look at this team, man. The dwarves sure are extremely immovable right now. I mean, I do think he has a chance to score again. Well, Dodge has four turns, which is definitely possible with the uh, with the ghouls. Like more than. Yeah, but I, no, guess, I, I don't think he has enough to follow up for the ghouls. I mean, mm -hmm. he, he, he has bludge, so they only go down on sixes. Oh, totally, but like... He the does have part... two, a couple, two or three tackle long beards, though. Yeah, but he has almost all of them on the line. I would have at least put one. Two of them are not one each. I on think. The, on yeah, you need one each flank, though. Not. I think Josh is going to make a weighted uh, um, formation and just go on the left because that runner is the most exposed right now. That runner is the most weak target right now. Um, I've got troll blocked. slayer is going to get punched as well. They're both armor eight, uh, and they both do not have dodge, which the other side does so i think he's just going to go down that side yeah i just realized that both of them don't have a reroll yeah i mean the so, kickoff could change that that's true this is true and in fact that's what i loved about when i had you remember when i had like three or four lunars i think i was playing ronith actually or it might have been corby i was just like and at this point i've used my two rerolls so the loners are meaningless they're just yeah. line elves <laughs> which is pretty good <laughs> I like that. Perfect defense. Come on. Yeah, that would be pretty bad for Josh. I want the pitch invasion. Stun the whole of Josh's team. Jimmy uh, fans. Uh, that's really good for Josh. Yeah. He might See, be... I don't know why he put all of his pieces on the line. Because if he left them one back, like. Yeah. Then he has to blitz. Exactly. This is a huge part of Nick. This is so Nick. Yeah, this is very Nick. This is why I always say it's a Nick game, because it's just a yeah, line he, of dudes. He made a dwarf fall with holes in it. There's one space between every dwarf. That's Pick brave by Josh, he doesn't normally do that. I think he feels he needs to. That's pretty good. That's really good right now. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it's good, but also, like, he's in a good place that Nick can, like, cage around him and just use him as a block. <laughs> For sure, but any stuns right now, like, because the t the turn, like, the, the the small amount of turns that are actually left in, the, in this game, a stun is huge. Oh, yeah. I think he should run forward with that goal. Yeah. And 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 pose a, a strong threat. Like maybe it's a little bit premature because he's he does have three extra three more turns to do it, but I just feel like he should while he has the opportunity, he should move up with at least one goal and get it passed. Because that might <clears throat> That bomb might be enough. Oh, that's brutal. The, uh, where the stun troll slayer is, like, it stops Nick getting a guard piece in to mark the white and the ghoul. Mm. And now he's making the mistake of basing players instead of scaling. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense, because then he can, if he blitzes the white and gets at least a push, he can mark the ball carrier. 
Yeah, that one makes sense. Right. But like, I just don't like with the long beard uh, doing this. Like, Nick is very base happy. <laughs> to be fair, if he pulls back with Nifta now. Like this is okay. Like if you pull, yeah, if he pulls the like, the two unmarked dwarves diagonally back. <laughs> nice. Oh. Rain is injured. Fail. <laughs> My God. Holy shit. Yeah, so, so many injuries. So yeah, so if he pulls Nifta and Biffo back diagonally, you know <clears throat> they're far enough back. They're both block pieces. One of them has guard. See, that is a bad play. Yeah, that is. Because that is. That's just using a dwarf to mark a ghoul. That is not going to do anything because he's just going to move up with the other it's, ghoul instead. It's not even the tackle piece. Like, has he not learned tackle pieces? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was just done. Oh, that's huge. I don't even think you should base the ball carrier. Let's go one down. No, no, yeah, go there. Only. That's it. Uh, I think that's a mistake. No, no, I think that was the right one. To go there instead of one up. <clears throat> I think there's plenty of potential here for Josh. It looks bad, but I think there is. That's going to be... Really good. I think Josh needs to start taking some one dies. Hmm. Yeah, that's Man, cool. Josh is so lucky with those. They always Ooh, look good. He needs to. He I guess will probably doesn't... hand off to the... Needs to move up a little day. bit. That's more like it. Yeah. Uh... Ah, it's, it's a 50-50 handoff. But he's still in a spot, tackle though. zone. It's you a 50-50 even... handoff. Mm. He has a reroll, so that's 74%. If he makes it, he has legs it. And he is pretty this safe. This is a very tricky situation right now. Is he going to throw it? No, he's going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Yeah, he's just going to walk up and um, walk past these guys and then use the use 5 hours a day and the Wedding Creeper as, as um, screening. Oh, I thought it was a double dodge. It wasn't... I guess that makes sense then. Yep. And there was no... This is why he should have moved back with one of the tackle pieces. Yep. And also screen instead of basing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because when you base, everything can punch you. When you screen... Yep. Nick gave... Um, Nick gave uh, way too many free blocks to Josh. <clears throat> Now these dwarves are here. They're all based. I mean, it looks like, to be fair, like, it was okay basing most things. He just needed to leave, like, one blitz of a long beard back, who could then, you know, just kill the ball yeah. carrier. Basing is fine if you have people behind who can cover if the base ones get, get punched. But the line, the only line he has is the ba is the one that is based, which is bad. Because one of the, if, like, one or two get punched over, then it's that is like an open open line and then they just pour through with all the ghouls because they have more way more movement speed than um than the dwarves yeah and i also think nick has just given up now he's gonna punch things <laughs> i don't know if he's given up but he's definitely punching the mummy I just want to point out that is the perfect fouling position right now. Yeah. And I kind of wish he... He fouls. <laughs> Fouled and killed. It's not good. 
replaced anyway. <laughs> I mean, I guess he could do a desperate uh, blitz with uh, left-handed arrow, but that's a red die. And uh, I think some it's... dodges. Mm. It's a 65 into a 50. If he blitzes with Nifta, one, two, three, and then doesn't follow, he can mark the ball carrier with a tackle piece. That's true. Which could, you know, save the game. Yep. I guess he's just going for the mark then. He's going for it. No, that's the wrong way. That is definitely the wrong way. No, following is the wrong way. That was fine. Dodge yeah, if he hadn't followed, he could it? Question mark? Why, why... No, he'd have to dodge if he was going for it. Why was following? Oh, no, no yeah, yeah. Uh, like, it would have been just as bad. Yeah, well... That's 2-1 to Josh. 2-1 to Josh. Yeah. It was it was close, but he did it. Nick didn't scream basically. Nick Nick sure gave him that win. Yeah. I don't think he like. He he definitely fought back, but Nick definitely needs to needs to spread his dwarves out because they simply just don't have the movement to react to the ghouls getting past this line, one line of defense. Yeah, uh, Dwarf Blob is not that good. Yeah, it's too much commitment for one line of defense, which is really slow. And if they get past it, it's like... Then you're just chasing your own footsteps. And you're just like, well, can't can't do anything because we don't have enough movement. Josh now has two rerolls. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. Gee. <laughs> Surprised he left this many players on the line as well. <laughs> Here, punch me more. Oh, he I did. Mean, he left sleepy horror on the line. <laughs> Wait, what? No, don't go for the swag pass. Punch. Why? Why? You could have like, killed sleepy horror and then fouled him. Wow. I really do question <laughs> Nick's judgment sometimes. He just ended. What? <laughs> Uh, uh wait, what 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 what, what did Mr. Bray get? MVP. He's, he got injured and then Lord Charles. MVP. Yeah. Now I'm just looking at what their injuries are. Oh. Uh invasion? Lord oh, wow wow, that MVP on Long Charles. That's a mate. Lord Charles. <laughs> you got McBrain. McBrain. Hello. McBrain. Lord Charles. Hello. Hello. God damn. I um, the game. That, that was that, that was hilarious to watch. That was like that, that was a not so kind. Fred got six XVP from just punching people. <laughs> I, uh, Jesus Christ! I, I the only thing I'm a little annoyed about is just five failed regens in a row. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were looking at that. We were just like I'm Gen, like like eighty oh percent failure rate has kind of skewered back into normality. Yeah, like I kind of expected that. Like I I, I expected that to happen against the dwarf. What's the much. what's the what's the wound in my brain? I think it's just a badly hurt. Yeah. Like, um, it was pretty rough. I, but I kind of expected it. I'm just glad I. Oh God! The win up. <laughs> I didn't realize it was your dead dwarf that got the yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll the damn level. Um, was there? Was even a level? He hasn't even level yeah. up. He yeah, doesn't yeah. even level up. See ya, Lord Charles. Bye. <laughs> yeah, Gra Grave Dirt is Grave Dirt's miss next game, and my white has a niggle. Okay. I'm, I'm tempted to keep the white just because it's a god white. I don't think I can afford to sack it. I think it's definitely worth keeping. Yeah. yeah. It's unfortunate, but I think that's just too good to... We were just confused that, like, you know, Nick likes punching things, and at the end, when you oh, left we... the strength 4 ghoul on the line, he was like, I'm gonna vanity pass with no rerolls. Oh, uh, because we, because he said... Yeah, he we, we, agree, we, we agreed the gentleman and out. I don't want to point out, I didn't tell... Last continue, Nick, Nick, agree, Nick just said we can just end turn it. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, sure, fine. <laughs>